All right, number seven. So, Farmer Adam grows potatoes. The waste of potatoes in grams grown by Adam are normally distributed with a mean of 140 and a standard deviation of 40. Now, always write this formula here. Yeah? So, I'm going to let W be the weight of potatoes. So, this is a random variable. And it's going to be normally distributed with a mean of 140 and variance 40 squared or standard deviation 40. Okay, so key things to note here. Yeah? Now, next part is important. Adam cannot sell potatoes with a weight of less than 92 grams. Okay, so this is vital. Now, always try and draw this out. So illustrate with a bell curve. Put the mean of 140 bang in the middle. So this has to be symmetrical. And put 92 on the left. Because remember, this is all in uh, ascending order. So we know, so this is the area that is less than 92 where Adam cannot sell his potatoes. Okay. So let's see the question A. So find the percentage of potatoes that Adam grows but cannot sell. So indirectly, this is the probability that of um, being less than 92, of a weight less than 92. So we write down, find the probability of W less than 92. And now the next step, you just have to be comfortable with normal distribution. We always have to convert the random variable to the Z standard normal, which is the value minus the mean, which is 140, over standard deviation. So let's look at the steps. And then you just put this in a calculator, you get minus 1.2. And now remember that the standard normal table, so I, I got a little extract here, they're always positive values. So you kind of have to whip out this minus sign out and write one minus the same thing. So that's the technique, guys. Yeah, you can always write probability z is less than something, which is the same as, or minus x, which is the same as one minus the same thing, but of just x. So this is a nice little technique. So anyway, you do that, you got 1.2, look at the normal table, 1.2 is here, and you get 0.8849. So 1 minus this value is 11.51%. Okay, part B. So the upper quarter of the weight of the tail sold by Adam is Q3. Now we need to find the probability that this weight of a, any potato grown by Adam is more than Q3. Okay, these kind of questions, um, always, and, I mean, and for literally every question in normal distribution, always redraw the bell curve with updated information. So we know that in from part A, the unsold was 11.51%, which is less than 92. Now they want us to find Q3 of the sold, which is of the white region. So we need to basically take three quarters of the, the area of the white region. And the area of the white region is 0.8849. That's one minus the unsold. So that'll give us this probability here. So three quarters of 0.8849. And now the reason why I added the unsold region is because if you don't do that, you're going to end up having a wonky, the, the queue is in the wrong place. So this will cause a shift to the right. So if you add this, it'll move it correctly to where it should be. Okay. And you can do the same for Q1 because even in part C, they want us to find the first quarter or the lower quarter of the sold as well. So it's the same thing. You find one quarter of the sold region and you add it to the shift of the unsold and that'll put it in the right place. So that's it. Now to actually solve the probability, they want us to find the weight that is more than Q3, right? First, the less than Q3, we found out what it was, it was 0.778. And to get the right hand side, just one minus that region, and you should get 0.221. That's it, easy. And now we gotta find the value Q1. So always update your bell curve, guys, yeah? So we just found out that the, the area greater than Q3 was 0.221. This means that this region between the mean and Q3 must be 0 0.279 because we know all of this adds up to half or 0 0.5. Now, to find Q1, we're going to go ahead and use our result from part B, which is um, which is over here. So I'm going to start over here. So we've got the property that W less than Q1 is 0 0.3363. Now, let's convert that to the standard normal Z form. So minus the mean over standard deviation. Again, still equal to the probability. Now the problem here is that if you look at the normal tables, you'll realize that they always begin with 0 0.5 onwards. And this is less. Now to get to the bigger version, you'd have to uh, 1 minus this probability. And if you want minus, the trick is if you put a minus sign in front of the, the Z value, you get the mirror value. So that means you can 1 minus this. So literally stick a minus sign, then you 1 minus this probability here to get this value right here. And that's useful because now if you look at the, 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 the normal table, you'll find out that for 
the probability roughly equal to 0 0.6637, you have two, and you get two Z values. So you can literally just pick a Z value between, but preferably closer to 0 0.42 because this probability is closer to the first one. Anyway, I chose 0 0.423, and when you put that in, you just literally make this equal to it. So I forgot to put a minus sign here, but it should be here. And then when you solve it and you make Q1 the subject, oops, you should get about 123 grams. And that's it. That's literally part C. Now, finally, D. So Betty selects a random sample of three potatoes sold by Adam. Okay, again, sold. So we're looking at the white region from the bell curve. Now, you can probably see that I fully updated this um, bell curve. We, we got a probability between um, Q1 and the mean. We got between 92 and Q1. So we found this all from the previous question. So you can just subtract a minus and you get every value. Remember the left side equals a 0.5, so does the right side. Now one important thing to note is that because we're working in terms of sold, we should kind of rescale the normal curve, yeah? So for example, um, I gave each one a name. I said less than Q1 is L, more than Q3 is M, and between Q1 and Q3 is B. Now, for example, for the probability of L less than Q1, so between Q, that's, that's literally between Q1 and 92, because we're only working on sold, I got 0.2212. And because the whole thing's out of 0.8849, I divided it by the 0.8849. And this gives roughly, I say, a quarter, because it makes sense, it's the lower quarter. And same for uh, more, I got the same value. And, and between, it'll be between Q1 and Q3, so you got 0.1637 plus 0.2788. And again, scale it down, divided by the, the sold region. So you have these three. Now, to get this correct, because it's a random sample, this means he could have picked these three potatoes in any order. So my tip is to always try and figure out the arrangements that it could be. So I did less than, more than, between, L, B, M, and so on. So I put them in, in a nice, like, simple way to look at it. And then you realize that all the probabilities, if you multiplied all of these three, for example, you did this probability times M times B, they're all going to give you the same result. So six times the same result. So I got it here. And then you just put this in the calculator and done. You literally get your result. And um, yeah, that's really it, guys. I mean, I hope this, um, this video helped. It was quite intense, question seven. There was a lot of um, different problems. And I did go through a few times to make sure everything was right. But if you guys spot anything weird or found a better way or faster way or even if there's any errors on this page, please let me know. Otherwise, have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.